This is Brian Farrell with Aqueous Solutions LLC, makers of the Geochemist Workbench. Today I'll show you how to use GSS to mix samples. We'll use the Smart Mix Wizard, a feature built into GWB10. So here I have a GSS spreadsheet. We have all our analytes on the left hand side with their units, and we have three different samples loaded in the spreadsheet. One for Amazon River Water, one for Mississippi River Water, and one for a world average uh, river water composition. So to get started mixing our samples, I'll just go to Analysis and click on Mix Samples. That's going to launch the Smart Mix Wizard. Now we could select all our samples to mix, uh, but we'll keep it simple for now and just pick the first two. Click Next to move on to the next step of the wizard. Here we can specify some constraints for the mixing calculation, uh, ways to deal with uh, zero values in our spreadsheet or non-detects. <clears throat> Uh, we'll just leave everything in its default setting for now, so press OK. Now we're going to specify how we're going to mix our samples. Uh, we can choose the proportions uh, to mix samples either by volume or by mass. So I'll choose mass here. And we could um, basically just mix a kilogram of, of each sample together, uh, but by unchecking this equal proportions option, I will specify uh, that we have uh, two kilograms of Mississippi River water uh, will be mixed into one kilogram of Amazon River water. I'll go to next <clears throat> and here the Smart Mix Wizard is just validating that each sample uh, can be equilibrated successfully. So I'll just go to the next step. And finally uh, we have our, our mixture ready to go. We'll click Save as Sample. This is the name of our mixture. It's going to be stored in the spreadsheet to the right of the Mississippi River water sample. And here's a way that we can scale the extent of our mixture. So remember, we had a kilogram of Amazon River water, two kilograms of Mississippi River water. So our mixture should be three kilograms. And that's what we'll get if we choose total mass solution. On the other hand, we could scale our mixture down to either a kilogram of solution or a kilogram of solvent. Uh, plus uh, a little bit of additional mass due to the dissolved solids. Let's just choose total mass solution and click finish. I'll close the wizard and here we have our original two samples and our mixture. You see we've calculated the concentration of various chemical components in the mixture. Uh, we've automatically calculated pH uh, the mass of our solution is 3 kilograms, just like we expected it to be. Um, I hope you enjoy using the Smart Mix Wizard.